95.5 WFMS. Good morning. It's Jim, Deb, and Kevin. It is Halloween. Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> why, why do I don't know why we do that. They always do, you yeah, know. I know. It's a, you know <laughs> no, it's more like, ooh. <laughs> it's right. so chilly. <laughs> That's what the kids are going to be doing. Yeah. Uh, no kidding. They'll be bundled up there. Everybody's mm. dressed up like a coat. Yeah. yeah, yeah That's really. a great costume. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, how cool would it be tonight? Well, let's see. It's 30 now. Oh, if you like like going down to 26 tonight, <gasps> maybe a little flurry when the kids oh, are well, out Oh, well, why there. not? If we're going to have mm-hmm. cold weather, let's go ahead and have a flurry. Go ahead. These girls are going to do, like, a princess dress or mm-hmm. something. We're going to be freezing. Princess yeah. in a parka. Yeah, you yeah. go. All right, I was much it's uh, clear but it's cold 30 at wfms good morning it is 6 11 with jim david kevin and 95.5 wfms halloween yeah we're gonna do our our candy drop today yep today i'm excited about that. reverse trick-or-treating yeah I'm, I'm actually excited because deb went out and bought the candy mm-hmm. and if you recall when we were going to do this and when we did do this in the summertime uh we did uh, popsicles. popsicles yeah uh and uh, i was going to buy the el cheapos <laughs> uh, and uh, Deb said, no, we're doing bomb pops. And so it, with her buying the candy for today's be better stuff. JDK candy drop, we know it's going to be good stuff. Yeah, I got What'd Snickers, you... ah, Reese's go. Cups, Starburst, Ooh, Skittles, uh, M&Ms. How about, how about some Neko wafers? Neko. Neko. How about uh, some Neko wafers? I didn't wafers? get those. I didn't see those at the well, store. Well, they're voted the worst Halloween candy, <gasps> so you don't want to oh, get those. I love those. those. You like the chocolate The chocolate are and, my favorite. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if I ever had those. I, I don't think worst. I have either. The only thing I would say is bad about it, it tastes good, but they're pow- they've got like a powder on them. So you get that all over your clothes and your fingers usually and oh, yeah? sometimes your mouth. <laughs> How do you eat those things? You, know, you pop on them in your mouth real? Yeah. Like an M&M? Yep. Right. But Ooh. they're like a larger wafer. Mm. And Almost you like, like them, huh? Oh, well, yeah, I love them. Yeah, if you signed up for uh, our Halloween candy drop, uh, then we may be coming to your location mm-hmm. today. You can still sign up. It's pinned on our WFMS Facebook page. And we are going to be in costume, is that yes, right? Yeah. At least two of the three of us will. Uh, uh, you too? If you don't, you yeah. don't go. If you don't dress up, you oh, don't you go. Are I don't get any candy? <laughs> nope. Okay, I'm going. I'm dressing up. Yeah. Uh, it should be pretty obvious who we are. When we're out there. So. Oh, I think so. I think so? Okay. I think so, yeah. All right. All right, 613, we could set a record today, a record that we don't really want. Mm. I'll tell you about in 11 minutes. A little chilly out there <laughs> this morning. I'd like to be somewhere on a beach. No kidding. Yeah. Right now. The good morning. Not Beach Grove, although we no, love Beach we love Grove. Beach Grove. Yeah, WFMS. Too cold. 639, Halloween morning. Uh-huh. Yes. Waking up in a panic, maybe? Oh, this has happened to me many times. We always do Bunko uh, Halloween themed bunko and uh i always wait to the last minute and then it's literally time to get over there in an hour and a half i'm like i don't have my costume and then you have to scramble and look through stuff in your closet to try and come up with something um so instead of doing that just take these suggestions how about uh, take an empty bag of chips like a bag of lays or whatever make sure it's empty empty okay uh staple it to the shoulder (laughs) staple staple it to the shoulder of a cheap t-shirt one you don't really care about okay and do you know what you're doing Okay, what, uh, empty bag of chips. You staple it to the shoulder of a cheap T-shirt that you don't care about. And oh, you can yeah, go I know, as a, I know. What? Some of the chip on the shoulder. Chip on your shoulder, yeah. Uh, there you go. Uh, Easy. Uh, this is probably uh, one of the easiest ones here. You get one of those cheap plastic gold medals, you know, on the red, white, and blue ribbon. Oh, sure. Oh, yeah. You can get those at the dollar, dollar store. store. Yeah. I've got a bunch of those in my uh, closet. Uh, you put it around your neck and you carry a loaf of bread. You're the breadwinner. Ah, uh, easy. I, I mean, that, I, that I like metal that is probably right, a dollar. Yeah. And you, you probably already have the loaf of bread. <laughs> and you can make a sandwich. <laughs> yes. Yeah, if you get hungry. I like that. Uh, yeah. You know those those stickers? You go to a meeting or a gathering, and they have those stickers that say, hello, my name is. Oh, I love that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you get a sheet of those, which are super cheap at the office store. You put different first names on them. Tina, Bill, Chris, Jen. Stick them all over your T-shirt, and you can go as an identity thief. Oh, <laughs> no, those are good. Yeah, those are most important. They're cheap, cheap, oh, cheap right last there. minute ideas. Yeah, yeah, but you know what? If you're going to a party, it's still going to work, and you got it done. And it's uh-huh. a conversation piece. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So Goodman's there. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go as an invisible man, and I plan to be at all the parties. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. So if you don't see me, that's just stupid. I'm, I'm there. actually there. <laughs> oh, I don't believe it. Because I got a really good costume. That's good. <laughs> All right, <laughs> so, uh, 641. My bonus bad joke worth repeating Ooh. with a Halloween flair to it coming up at 705. 95.5 WFMS. Tuesday morning, a bonus edition this week of the bad joke worth repeating with Kevin. Yeah, it's a Halloween joke, uh, this being Halloween. <laughs> Sponsored by Hearing Solutions of Indiana. You've never heard like this before. I want a contest to go trick-or-treating with Arnold Schwarzenegger this year. Really? Yeah, I'm thinking of going as Beethoven. He'll be Bach. Oh, my gosh. He'll be Bach. Bach. <laughs> oh, no. I'm Beethoven. He'll be Bach. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, see, you Bach. Don't, you don't need to repeat it. The composer. Bach. He'll be Bach. 
<laughs> we'll be back. 7-Eleven with Jim, Deb, and Kevin. About 12 hours now, we'll be rooting through everybody's candy and picking out the ones we like best. <laughs> right. Yeah. It's always mm-hmm. fun to do. Unless you are uh, this dad and, and the kids that go to a, a house in Ohio because uh, the, the dad there gives away two liter bottles of soda. Oh, really? To every child wow. that comes by. He must and, work for Coke or something. Well, I don't, I don't know who he works for, but uh, he gets to, uh, tons of different flavors. It's the kid's choice. They get to choose what they want. He has a ramp that's built. It's, he's got it all the way up to his second level. So he's on the second level of his house at a balcony out there. Oh, and he rolls it down? And he rolls oh, it down. Oh, that's fun. So they think it's so fun. But except for then I started thinking, if you're the kid, I don't want to lug that thing around. That's heavy. A two liter. True, yeah. And don't open it right away if he's rolling it down there. <laughs> and how about the parents? Do you want the, you want it to be a mom or dad? And let's go yeah. get yourself a two liter of soda. Maybe they're thirsty at that point, though. Well. Yeah. yeah, I don't haul that around. But I think he wins Halloween bag. in his neighborhood. Because like, it's a cool thing. No full size candy bar would probably be able to top a, a two liter bottle. Yeah, that's a good idea. I bet there's I bet there's houses where people are, you know, instead of just handing the candy out, they're using like some sort of a you know, t-shirt launcher or whatever, and you're shooting the candy <laughs> out there. Like, That's not dangerous. Some sort of candy cannon. That'd be kind of fun. <laughs> yeah, he's posted oh, videos. Kids. <laughs> he's posted videos of him <laughs> stockpiling the soda over the yeah. several weeks leading up to Halloween. Okay. It's not just a one-night thing. Right. You go out the night before and, mm. and get everything ready. But his kids love it because they say they're known as the cool house yeah. in the neighborhood. Okay. And, but, here, Mom, you carry this all yeah. the way, all right? Not just the – I think it's not just the two-liter, but it's the way it's delivered. That's what's fun, yeah. Okay. Kids probably don't really care a whole lot about, hey, here's a two-liter Sprite. <laughs> Hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Happy Halloween. Well, it's yeah. like those neighborhoods I used to go to where they had beer. Mm-hmm. They could have just rolled that, oh, the beer oh, sure. right on down there. And <laughs> yeah, and, and let's clarify, that's not, not for, for the, the kids. kids. No, it was for the moms dad, and dads yeah. walking them around. They're out there on the sidewalk yeah. somewhere. Was well, so. that it costly, though? What's a two-liter these days? I don't really <clears> buy two-liters. I guess you get ninety nine cents or something like that. Yeah, it depends on if it's a name brand. Oh, maybe right. he's just yeah. doing like store store yeah. brand. Right. Or Generic something. Coke. Yeah, yeah. Big R. <laughs> hey, it's better than nothing. Right, right, That's exactly. So, all right, go to Ohio. Get yourself a two liter. There you go, seven thirteen. <laughs> if, if you are still trying to decide what to wear for a Halloween costume, ah, don't fear. Deb's got uh, some homemade last minute costumes for you that will cost you zero dollars, less than a two liter. It's coming up in 12. <laughs> 5 WFMS. Happy Halloween. It's Jim, Deb, no, and Kevin. say it right. Say it like a scary voice. Come on. Yeah, that was too friendly. It yes. was? Yeah. Happy, happy Halloween. Halloween. Happy Halloween. No, happy Halloween. <laughs> Come on, you've got the DJ voice. Uh, uh, you can uh, go uh, away with that. Happy yeah. Halloween. There you Ooh, go. That was creepy. Ooh. There you go. Wow. Now, if you've gotten up this morning uh-huh. and you decided that it's... Uh, it's Halloween, mm-hmm. and uh, realize that and it's, you don't have an outfit here. We're here to help you with yeah, that. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, well, yeah. not you or me, Jim. Deb right. is, really. Mm-hmm. She's doing I'm all the work. a little more creative. Yeah. But these are things, too, that it's a DIY. You can get this stuff either around your house or at a thrift store. Uh, I like to do around your house because if it's last minute, you know it's last minute. Yeah. you, you, you right. got to get going, and, mm-hmm. and you don't have time to go shopping. How about uh, if you're a, you could go as a politician? You could wear a business suit and carry an American flag. Simple. Okay, Yeah. I mean, it's very simple. Vote for me. And make a lot of promises. <laughs> oh, Kevin. Now, what about a farmer? A lot of people have a pair of overalls. If not, you can get those at Goodwill. I see them all the time. A pair of denim overalls, a plaid shirt. You wear a straw hat and carry a pitchfork. Well, I could do it. Be careful with that fork, though. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. Be, be yeah. very careful with that. Right. Careful where you lay it down. <laughs> you could wear a Hawaiian shirt. Yeah. Jimmy's now, if you, a bunch of those. It, well, he probably still does. Yeah. Hawaiian shirt. Now, if you happen to have a pair of boxing gloves, great. If you don't, color in an eye so it looks like you blackened an eye. You can go as Hawaiian punch. Now, Hawaiian that's a good one. Punch. I, I like love that, that one. one. <laughs> I love yeah. that one. Get some eye black yeah, the, the, yeah. And, and wear your Hawaiian shirt. It's no-brainer. I like that. Easy to clean off. We mentioned this one earlier, but get one of those uh, cheap plastic gold medals. Put it around your neck. Carry a loaf of bread. You're the breadwinner. The breadwinner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of half bell, but yeah, right. that's pretty good. And of course, the one that won for me when I wore it to Bunko one time was I wore, I took a, the only thing I purchased was a rubber chicken, which was dollars. I got uh-huh. it at a party store for dollars, yeah. three bucks maybe. And I hot glued it to a hat that I didn't really care about. And I, so I wore this yellow rubber chicken on my head. I wore a blue shirt and I wrapped an orange extension cord around my shirt. And I was chicken cord on blue. Chicken, chicken cord, cord on, blue. on blue. I love that one. People that one loved so it and it won an award. Yeah. yeah. So there you have it. Well, well we're going to be going out later on today handing out candy. It's our kind of a reverse trick-or-treating, mm-hmm. our JDK candy drop. If you went on our Facebook page and signed up, we might be coming to your place of business or your home, wherever, dropping off candy. And we'll be dressed in costume. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. We'll 
Can't tell you what. We'll take pictures later on, see if you can guess who we are, but looking forward to that. 729, uh, he's nominated for Male Vocalist of the Year at this year's CMA Awards. Cody Johnson joins us in 12 minutes. He has one of the best laughs in country music. Yeah. That is Darius Rucker, oh, 95.5. No, well, you do too. <laughs> about me. But I was talking about Darius. I'm not in country music. So. WFMS with Jim, Deb, and Kevin. Good morning. Uh, Cody Johnson coming to town in March, March 15th, 2024. Mm-hmm. Before that show, he's up for male vocalist of the year from the CMA. And yeah. I was thinking last night watching the baseball game, Texas, who went last night too, there over the D-backs. Uh, Cody Johnson sang the national anthem at a World Series game. He told us a little bit about that. Oh, I mean, it's our nation's anthem so yeah. i mean i feel like you if you're a true american you should be it's a tough singing. song to sing though yeah but i mean everybody was else it? in the crowd singing it too yeah was you it jim you always like, say start low start low start low yeah but they're I not always, on the jumbotron uh, you are <laughs> yeah i don't know I, I always feel like that sometimes people try to make it too much about them and they try to have their moment in the spotlight so we agree. and it's like it's not about that the only nerve that i had difference with I mean, i've sang it at so many different rodeos and so many different basketball baseball games and football games and uh, I'm honored each time because, I mean, I love my country. But having that camera in your face at Game 7 on the World Series, oh, about the second verse I had the, the thought, uh-huh. holy crap, there's 5 million people. <laughs> here, and I had to kind of gut check myself a little yeah. bit, but it was fun. Yeah. It all, everything ended up fine. you walk out wearing a hat because you don't have a hat on when you perform unless you took it off? I did. I walked out wearing my hat and then okay, I just took it off. Took it off whenever. Yeah. Yeah. So respect. Yeah. Cody Johnson doing the National Anthem. It's the seventh game of the World you, Series. You've you've done that a few times. Pace your games. Not and, at the World Series. But uh, <laughs> no. Yeah. No, yeah. No, pace no. your games. It's, yeah. it's, 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 it's nerve wracking. You know, you want to do it right. You respect the, you know, the country and all. Jim is normally a real relaxed guy, uh, but when he does those, it's like, don't talk to me. I'm kind of in my zone. Yeah, focus, yeah. I'm up there trying to crack jokes with him, and he's like, oh, Kev, yeah, he not right now. He does not joke. You haven't, t- you haven't done one of those in a while. Not in a while. One no, of those gigs. Did out the Indians game and stuff. It's always yeah. fun, except when you're hearing they come back at you sometimes. Yeah. You, know, you have a tendency to slow down. Then oh, somebody, sure. You know, Around the rock, oh, it's yeah. right. yeah. you, know, you don't want that. All right, time now for kind of a spooky edition of Can't Be Deb. Ashley is with us. Good morning, Ashley. Good morning. Uh, what's your favorite Halloween candy, Ashley? I like Rolos. Well, okay, that that was sadly not one of the questions, just so you know. Uh, but how we play the right. game is we will ask, ask you five questions. We ask Deb the exact same five questions. If you get more right than Deb, then obviously you win. But if she gets more right than you or if she ties you, uh, then she wins. And if you're ready, let's start with question number one. Uh, this is the time for scary movies. What movie has the famous line, you'll float, you'll float too? Is that Nightmare on Elm Street, uh, Halloween 2, or It? I'm going to guess It. Question number two. Today is Halloween, and that means candy. Which one of these has been around longer, Hershey Bar or M&M's? You think m ms Okay, we'll go with m ms Question number three. It's hard to stay on a diet during Halloween. Which one of these candies has the fewest calories? Is it peanut M&M's, Snickers, or Milky Way? Peanut M&M's. Question number four. Country singer L. King's dad was born on Halloween. Her famous father was also a member of Saturday Night Live. Who is her famous dad? Oh, I have no idea. Yeah, this is a tough one. Oh, my gosh. Name a famous person on Saturday Night Live, and maybe you'll get it right. No guess, yeah. No I'm worries. Have to on that one. I'm sorry. That's all right. That's all right. And question number five. Skittles and Starburst tie as the top-selling non-chocolate Halloween candy. How many different colors are in a bag of Skittles? We'll go with five. All right. There's the five questions. We'll bring Deb back in and see how she does on 95.5 WFMS. All right. Welcome back to Can't Be Deb. Deb, say hi to Ashley. Hello, Ashley. Ashley yeah. said her favorite Halloween candy are Rolos. Oh, you well, like those, those are good. They, they're hard to open. Well, they're, you know? they, they stick to your teeth. Yeah. Anyway, uh, if you're ready, uh, we'll start with question number one. Okay. It's that time of year for scary movies. What movie has this famous line? You'll float too. You'll float too. Is that Nightmare on Elm Street, Halloween 2, or It? Shoot. Uh, uh, it? That's really? correct. Okay, and Ashley knew that too, so everybody scores. It's Deb one, Ashley one. Question number two. Today is Halloween, and that means candy. Which one has been around longer, the Hershey bar or M&M's? How am I supposed to know that? Well, I bet you the Hershey bar goes back pretty far. That's my answer. <gasps> That's correct. Woo! And Ashley, I, I have you down as getting that right too. Is that right? That was your guess, Sue, too? 
Uh, you... No, I guess M&M's. That's what I thought. So thanks for your honesty. Uh, so <laughs> yeah, sadly, please. Ashley did not get that right. She guessed M&M's. So uh, it's now Deb to Ashley one. Question number three. It's hard to stay on a diet on Halloween. Which one of these candies has the fewest calories? Would it be peanut M&M's, Snickers, or Milky Way? Um, fewer. Mm-hmm. I'll say You're... Milky Way. That is incorrect. Is it? Ashley guessed peanut M&M's is not right. No, it's Snickers has 215, Milky Way has 264, and peanut M&M's have 278. So enjoy that Snickers today. It's yeah. the lowest one That's in calories. the best one for you. So sadly, nobody scores. It remains the same. Deb, two, and Ashley, one. Question number four. Country singer L. King's dad was born on Halloween. Name her famous father, who was also a cast member on Saturday Night Live. Oh, no. I know who it is. I see his face. His first name is Rob. Is Rob right? I can't okay, tell you that. Is it that. Rob Schneider? That's correct. Ah, Ashley sadly couldn't think of a cast member on Saturday Night Live. She doesn't stay up that late, evidently. <laughs> so Deb does get the point. So it's Deb three, Ashley one. Final question, number five. Skittles and Starburst tie as the top-selling non-chocolate Halloween candy. How many different colors are in a bag of Skittles? In a bag of Skittles? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm writing them down. Red. Green, orange, purple, yellow. Is that it? One, two, three, four, five. That's oh! correct. Ashley knew that too, but sadly she doesn't have enough points to beat you. It's a Deb four, Ashley to Ashley. You played a fantastic game on this Halloween, but sadly you don't have what it takes to beat Deb. Yes, okay. Thank you. <laughs> and this is where you say those famous words. Hi, this is Ashley from Greenfield, and I cannot beat Deb. Oh, but enjoy yourself a Snickers bar because it's lowest in calorie. How about that? (laughs) I will. Thank you. If you'd like to play Can't Beat Deb, you can text us at 317-255-9367. Nice job, Ashley. Thanks. Have a good one. 95.5 WFMS, Jim, Deb, and Kevin on this Halloween morning. And Deb's Daily Dirt, he dressed up like a baby. Yeah, he was a baby, which is, I think, kind of brave, this manly, muscular guy to dress as a little infant uh, for Halloween. But now he's engaged, so he's old enough to take the plunge for the second time. We'll tell you who it is coming up in about 30 seconds. But first, Selena Gomez is speaking out about Taylor Swift, her best friend, and thinking that she could be moving a little too fast with Travis Kelsey. Uh, she said, oh, quote, really? this is what she said, quote, historically, Taylor's always been super private about everything, including her love life. But with this, she seems to be completely open. And she says, I find it very odd just because that's not her usual uh, her mode of going about things. So I want but maybe maybe she's more open about it because she feels like it's the right the right thing. Interesting. You know why he wears number 87 jersey football jersey? Is this a joke? And he's the 87th a boyfriend that she's no, had. No, <laughs> Kevin. That is not nice. It's her latest song, 87. <laughs> no, no, that's not true. Uh, so Justin Timberlake was seen for the first time since Britney Spears' memoir came out. He's been getting a lot of hateful comments. He had to turn his comments off on Instagram, oh, by the way. I bet. Uh, he was seen with his family in uh, Cabo San Lucas. It's, uh, they say, a planned vacation. But, of course, everybody's like, oh, he fled, fled to vacation spot just because he's dealing with the backlash from Britney's fans. Matthew Perry's friends, co-stars, issued a statement yesterday, as they promised they would, saying they were utterly devastated by his death. They are going to take this time to grieve and process the loss before saying anything further. Also, after two years of dating, Channing Tatum asked Joey, no, try that again, Zoe, not Joey, Mm -hmm. asked Zoe Kravitz to spend the rest of their lives together. She said yes. The actress is the daughter of Lenny Kravitz and Lisa Bonet, and they say they're planning, I love this, a big little wedding. Big little wedding. So it's a little wedding as far as attendees, but it's going to be big in, in celebration. Now, Jim, you just had a wedding with your son. Does that mean an expensive wedding or a big little wedding? Well, theirs can be. Mine shouldn't have been. <laughs> there you go. I don't think yours was big little. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think it, it was, was big, big, big. It was big, big. There big, we go. Big? Yeah. It is 827. That's Deb's Daily Dirt. It's sponsored by Mark Deedle Realty. All right. Good reason to limit the amount of candy you and your kids eat today. A little fact that's going to surprise you in 12 minutes. The Country Station 95.5 WFMS with Jim, Deb, and Kevin. Well, we're going to do our Halloween candy drop here in a Oh, that's of, right. Yeah. About an hour, two hours or so. Uh, we'll be out uh, dropping off candy. It's our reverse trick-or-treating. Mm-hmm. So if you signed up on Facebook, tell us where you're going to be. We we'll, might just be coming to your place of employment or wherever you might be and drop off some candy. Uh, fun fact, though, if you do get some candy from us, you probably don't want to eat it all at once. Oh, that's say, a given. If you were to eat an average size 
you know, bag or loot that the kids get for trick or treating at sure, night right. tonight. Um, it's it could be as much as seven thousand calories, which Ooh. they say Whoa. you would need to walk one hundred and eighty miles or trick or treat for one hundred and eighty miles to burn that off. Wow! Isn't that like triple what you're supposed to have in a day? Yeah, that's yeah. crazy. That's a, there's yeah. no way. Just on Snickers and Reese's cups. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, now I, I am guilty of going through. My wife the other day, she brought home candy. And she's like, okay, here's what we got. And she bought one of these big bags of individually wrapped pretzels. Oh, yeah? That's not candy. <laughs> We're going to get egged. I just know we are. <laughs> yeah. Said, you can't handle the handle. <laughs> she said, well, that, we'll give them the option if they want ca- pretzels, pretzels or candy. Now, do you They're going to want the candy. Do you let them? Because I usually hold the bull out and say, take what you want, you know. And they they, they kind of pick through. Their, I don't. But some people just go ahead and. I usually just grab a handful. Put what they want in the bowl. Uh, grab a handful and throw it in there. In this case, a handful of uh, individually wrapped pretzels. Pretzels there. Yeah. You go, kids. What's we're gonna be, this, We're going to be known as that neighbor now. <laughs> well, I mean, it's think about it. Oh, that's more healthy. Well, some kids can't have it, this stuff. Too much know? sugar, yeah. yeah. They might thank you for that, too. I thought the it was parents, a nice option. Oh, the parents will thank you. The kids will not thank us. <laughs> going to get A. Remember anyway. when, remember when uh, Mimi and Corbin came by? They trick-or-treated my house, and I had to leave. Because I was I was out trick or treating with my own kids, yeah, so I left. Candy I left a bowl. I was candy shamed. She's like, she didn't have the good stuff. <laughs> I don't well, think it was anything gone. Left. Well, no, there was stuff in there. Was there? Okay. But I'm sure the you know the good stuff was gone by well, the time we, we got we've there. got the good stuff. And follow us on social media because we'll be out and about later on today, and we will be in costume, and you get to see what yes, we're wearing. We will. Mm-hmm. Right. Excited. Mm-hmm. It's eight forty. The national keyword to win that trip to see Lanny Wilson coming up in, at nine oh five.